The Minister of Home Affairs has introduced a task team which is a border management control that is new on the border of Bedbridge and other borders, which is Libombo border post, uh, that border South Africa and Mozambique. What does this mean for Zimbabweans and Mozambicans that are resident in South Africa or that want to find their way into South Africa someday? It's going to be tough, very, very tough. These people are not going to be joking. These people are going to try by all means to make sure that they gain public confidence over the porous borders that have been created over the years. What does this mean for many people? NC is going all out and they are going to go all out to make sure that they garner votes in 2024 because they have lost in 2021. They only managed 50% of the votes and it is likely that they will drop and they want to stay as the majority in 2024. So this means that they are going all out to make sure that they win when come 2024. They will do everything possible to gain the public confidence and restore the hearts that have since abandoned them. And they are going to the parties like EFF and the parties like DA. The second thing is the arrest of Zimbabweans that I have got permits in South Africa is worrying because you remember this gentleman from Youth League after the death of Elvis Nyat. He said, we want the Zimbabweans that have got permits out. We want the Zimbabweans that have got that do not have permits out because the ones that have got permits are the ones that are bringing the Zimbabweans, the other Zimbabweans that are undocumented. So what does this mean? It means that what this gentleman said is what the community is saying and the police are applying the same. And I was told with this voice note that I want you to listen to. No Arita ma operation ya mjana kidza muno. Aruku sunga siku vau kwa kwa sunga wa nuzuru wa sunga 85, 87 Zimbabwe. And naso aru patrola food. Saka, such a thing is not nice. Gara uchungone. So endo wa sunga ima mkoma wangu wane permit. Wanzi tudati go verify. Wakato rara mshitoki sizuru. Hapa wane permit. Valid permit. So this means that a lot of Zimbabweans are going to be affected even if they have permits. So you having permits and not having a permit doesn't matter. What matters is if these guys are angry and they catch you, it's going to be tough. Even the police are not going to protect you because these guys are angry. And that shooting that happened in Soweto aggravates the matter even more because we don't know who is responsible for this. Are these local people? Who was, was this a rivalry? And if it turns out that there might be any involvement of any foreigner, it exacerbates the situation even further. What is my advice to you? Live while you still can. If you have property, you've got kids, you've got investment that are there, it's time to move out and find other avenues. If you are to move out to another country, you can move out. If you want to move back to Zimbabwe, that is also okay. And I'm going to tell you what you can actually put your money on and what you, opportunities that you can explore in Zimbabwe. Coming to the last point, there are opportunities in Zimbabwe. Number one, in the farming industry, pork industry to be exact. If you want to make money in Zimbabwe, come and do pork farming. And if you want that more information, I can link you up with people that are non-partisan. This is available to every Zimbabwean. You can come and invest in pork farming. Why do I say that? EU is targeting to have 25,000 metric tons of pork out of Zimbabwe. 25,000 metric tons. At the moment, Zimbabwe is only giving them 10,000. That means they are sponsoring young farmers that want to get into this business and this is open to everyone no matter of, of your affiliation or who you are the fact that you are supposed just to be having to be a bona fide zimbabwean and you can afford to get a piece of land so these are some of the opportunities that you can explore you can even rent the land it's not a problem so this is some of the opportunity that you can explore and also you can have prospects in mining and i can link you up with people that are doing that 
Then the third thing that you can come and do here, if you've got a bit of disposable income, come and buy and sell. Come and see what is on the market, jump on that bandwagon and find things that you can buy, whether you're buying in South Africa and sell in Zimbabwe. These are some of the opportunities that I can tell you to explore. And this is what everyone is doing in town. If you go in town, a lot of places, a lot of openings in the buying and selling industry. So that is what you can explore. In conclusion, what I can tell you is this. I've made this brave decision to leave South Africa. Yes, it was the toughest thing, toughest decision that I've ever made, but it was a, an important one. Why? Because I don't want to see what happened in 2021, where shops were looted and there was no protection whatsoever, where people lost their lives and there was no protection whatsoever. And knowing, having been in South Africa for more than 14 years, I can tell you that when these things start to happen, there might not be enough protection for you. So the best is to live whilst you still can. If you've got property, if you've got money, children, move them back home. Yes, you might come here and things get tough, but it might be tougher for a season and get better with time. So that, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share this video with, with your family and friends. I'll see you on the next episode.